<clears throat> this is John the Dragon. Welcome you to Webcam Nick. You're a child. Ready? <laughs> Ready. All right, Johnny. Johnny Gonzalez. What up, buddy? What's up, man? Welcome to the cosplay couch. Ah, oh, I mean, it's a chair, but it's okay. It's comfortable. We're not at Christina's house. Okay? Oh. <laughs> we're at my, we're at my huh. shitty, cramped basement. Welcome to the cosplay corner. Alright, okay. I'm getting a chair. This is terrible. Okay, he's gonna grab a chair, and I'm gonna sit here and talk to you guys while he's doing that. So we just have some filler while he's doing that. We weren't prepared for this greatness to happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get a little bit of, let me get a little bit of water. Alright. Alright, let's come back. Alright, I'm gonna restart it now. We started. No, this is pretty good. We got fillers going. All right, fine. We got. This is good. This is good stuff. This is John Dragon interview. Cut off your head. Oh, you cut my head off. That's no, good. it's just because you're a massive human being. <laughs> All right. Um, you've been a part of the channel since essentially the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when I went to Anime Syracuse, and I saw your, I recognized your, your, uh, your cosplay. Yep. Yeah. From Bleach, but I didn't know who it was. I just knew it was the wolf guy. Um, is it weird to see where I've become as a YouTuber? Is it weird? Or what do you think of my? <clears throat> what do you think of it all? Um, I mean, I'm literally having a person <laughs> who I didn't know be my camera. <laughs> I know. I mean, from from when I first saw you, you know, I was just like, all right, this dude's coming up doing some interviews. I mean, gosh, how how long ago? Like six years ago? So what do you mean, 22, 21 at the time? Yeah, it was 2013, <clears throat> yeah, 21. So I was like, all right, this kid's doing some cool stuff. And then that was that, you know, we, we weren't really, we didn't really talk after that. I mean, no, I it, was, it took a, yeah, right? a few years later, I think it was when I had that, uh, Mario. that Mario outfit and we met again. And then things kind of escalated from there and just became friends and then. The more I watched your stuff, the more, you know, official it became, more professional it came, and I was like, man, you're going places. Right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, how'd you start cosplaying? Um, <clears throat> I went to my first, I went, my first one was Syracuse Anime, or Anime Syracuse was, and that was one that was at the, the Palace Theater. I went to the second <clears throat> one, or the first one? <clears throat> I think I went to the second one. Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't even know there was two there. I just yeah. randomly went there one time, right. and then when I saw it come again, I went to go see, uh, you know, a list of everyone who was there, and I was like, wow, this is like getting bigger. So I was like, maybe I should try cosplaying. Most nervous day of my life is 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 doing the first time. Where, like you're rolling up there, and you got your costume on, and you're like yeah, looking right. around, and you're like, I don't see nobody dressed up, like. If I walk out, I'm the only person there, and then you see that one group of cosplayers just walking down, and you're like, okay. I feel better now. <laughs> that, uh, that, that first step is a doozy. Uh, when I wore the, um, the Scarlet Spider for the first time. Oh, yeah? I yeah. was like, <sighs> I just ran in the car. <laughs> and like three seconds in, can I get a picture? Sure. Yeah, yeah that's how it works, man. And it's like, you you were going to conventions long before you ever decided to do it. That, that was my second convention I went to yeah. before I decided to cosplay. And right. I just kind of never stopped. It's crazy. Um, what was going through your head our first interview, if you remember that? Or have you seen the interview in a while? Um, I, I think yeah, no, I looked at it a couple months ago. I was showing uh, a friend of mine about it, and I was like, "Yeah, this is my first interview." And uh, when I first did it, it like I said, like, I've never done anything like that. So my first time I've cosplay was also the first time anyone walked up to me and was like, "Hey, can you get a picture?" Right. So, um. It was awesome, man. Like I, I was, I was totally happy to do it, and I was like, "Yeah, it's I'm a hot good. day, man." Imagine how I felt in that costume, yeah. like, helmet, and everything. <laughs> it's, it's cool, though. What What'd you end up going there for? Like, just particularly, or you were just there? Like, um, I mean, I, like I've always been a big anime fan. Yeah. You know, from gosh, from Dragon Ball Z and Sailor Moon, when I was like 13, 14 years old. Right. Um. And it just escalated from there. Yeah. And as I started to learn about it, the first time I ever learned about a convention here in, in Anime Syracuse, or, well, Syracuse, yeah, yeah. was Anime Syracuse, um, I was working at my job, and a friend of mine, Ken, uh, was like, you like anime? Look at this. And it was in one of the papers. And I was like, what? Yeah. And uh, 
and then I went, man, and just got hooked to it. And then I, as as things went by, the websites were built, and I could see you, and I saw like the Funimation uh, voice actors were there, and I was like, oh man, I gotta get them to sign my Full Metal Alchemist stuff. Right. Yeah, right. it was great. It was awesome. Same thing. My buddy joined, told me about it, and I was like, <laughs> okay, I look it up, and it's like this Tipton who plays Mocha, and I was like, yeah, yeah, my book signed. <laughs> yep. And yep. I went there with no kind of intention to interview people. I just went there. And I was like, I'm going to stuck here for six hours. <laughs> Crazy. My stepfather wasn't coming to get me. <laughs> um, you've been a Mario. You've been like Mario. You've been everything from Mario to like Jedi to yeah. that big old, I think you had like a like white knight thing with a buster sword. Yeah, yeah, that's from Monster Hunter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How do you pick your shit? Um, a lot of the time... Uh, just my personal preference. I'll try to go with characters that I can kind of look like similarly in, in height and shape and things that will look good on me. Not that that's a standard to be like, you can't be somebody because you don't specifically look like them. That's just kind of like how I like to do it. Like if I come up in my Mario outfit and like I, I kind of switched up to kind of how I want to look. Like I walked, well, this year, well last year now because I was 2020. I came in my Mario outfit and they're like, oh look, it's Muscle Mario. Is it a t-shirt on, a big old hammer. You kind of switch it up. I'll go as um, Hunk from Voltron. But, you know, I got the beard so I go as like an older Hunk. Um, this is my personal preference. So I look at things that would make me kind of stand out. Um... And aren't too expensive. <laughs> right. Um, let's see. Um, okay, so one thing you've always talked about in our interviews is like, you can't sew for nothing. That's yes, true. So, <laughs> what's your stance on like um, uh, buying stuff over making stuff as far as like the purists or whatever? And, what, and of course, you wouldn't shun anybody. For buying, but what do you say to people who shun people for buying? Um, like, what's your stance on that? You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Like, there's I, a whole sub yeah. community about that shit. It's really annoying. It's 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 strange. I like I never really thought of it before someone's gonna shun somebody for for oh you bought it instead of make it. Like, okay, well I don't have that particular skill. Yeah. I don't go to someone's house when their plumbing is bad and say, hey, I could fix it. I had any schooling or any kind of ability to do plumbing. So, what do you want me to do? You want, I, I mean, there's there's a point in someone going like, okay, I'm going to try to make this, and then they fail. Okay. Maybe they might be discouraged. Maybe they'll just keep trying. But it's just up to that person, you know. It's, right. it's like, I know for a fact that I can't sew well. I could probably get a sewing machine, but again, that's investing money and investing money. And something and stuff like that. Gonna, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so your opinion is you don't really care. You just gonna continue to buy. Yeah, if you if you want to have a standard of like that looks like anime quality or movie quality, and someone else did it because it's their job to do that. Yeah, then do that. If you want to make it yourself and it's a little bit cheaper and a little easier, do that. But don't sure. shun somebody for buying. I mean, if they got the money, they got the money. <laughs> yeah, I'm never gonna like attack someone for. Clearly wearing a spirits costume to a con. Yeah, that's yeah. not my job. They're doing it to have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right. How'd you get involved in the saber group? Oh yeah, I was. Uh, I was at another job, and the uh, security guard there, Ed, he. Uh, that was his martial arts group, and he knows I was a big Star Wars fan and everything geeky, and he was like, yeah, so my Sifu started a saber class because he loves uh, Star Wars and all the geeky stuff. When well, you I, told me the first time, I was like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. And uh, he was like, all, I think it was, I think it was November, yeah. and he was like, um, and it was when the movie was releasing or something like that, or after the movie release, he was like, he's giving all free classes um of that month every saturday and i was like man let me go check this out so i brought my little hasbro uh saber down there <laughs> and i walked in he's like oh hey and he's like who would, like recommend you and i was like ed down here he's like oh yeah yeah and i tried it the first time yeah and i fell in love with it i did it for man a good while there and then uh kind of just fell off because of work and life. things going on in life man but if anyone ever gets a chance and wants to learn to be a jedi you go down there take it on is. shopping town mall it is the worst, dude. <laughs> they put you to work, man. That's good. It's fun. It's, it's a, hilarious, but man, it is the worst, man. I was in there like, 
<laughs> I'm out of shape. <laughs> I love it, man, but it is crazy. Like, I was in there for three weekends straight. Like, literally. Just, like, doing, just doing the Jedi stuff? Just doing the Jedi stuff. I was oh, in there man. three weekends straight. It was crazy, man. He I works hard, but it's... it's yeah. Learning like, yeah. and martial arts and having fun and being a super nerd. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. That was crazy, man. Anthony's a great guy. Um, all right. So, um, so you did the um you did the Think Geek Grand opening. Yeah, yeah. And like explain how my mother how you met my mother without <laughs> knowing it was my mother. Um, explain that, please. Um, well, while I was there, because I've heard her version and I've heard your version, but I want to hear it on camera. <laughs> so in this, in the uh, the saber group, we we all got invited and we all dressed up and went down there and we were just out in the front door greeting people. Saber. We had our yeah, we had all our sabers out. We were all dressed up, just going in greeting people as they come in and you know just bringing attention to the place. And um, so his mother walks up, which I had no idea that was his mother. <laughs> just know that he was, he loves Star Wars. Yeah. And just out of the group. No, because, everybody's looking for me. They're like, where the fuck is Nick? <laughs> everybody's looking for me. <laughs> and uh, so she, she chose me to take a picture with, probably because I was the most handsome and tallest guy there. But. And dark. <laughs> <laughs> and not wearing a mask. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and the dopest lightsaber. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we just took a picture, and then, you know, uh, like a couple hours later, he's like, you met my mom. I was like, what? Oh, yeah, he's, he was like, what, what was the conversation? Because I know you guys had a conversation, if you remember. She was just like, she was just like, yeah, my son loves this. I want to take a picture for him and send it to him. This is his favorite stuff. And I was like, okay, cool, cool. She never mentioned your name, because if she said Nick or anything like that, I would have been like, Nick, I said, Ooh. use my name. I, I, I was like, mom, you go to these places, <laughs> use my name. People know me. I try. I go think he goes, hey, you know that Nick he says I get a discount here. They say no every time. <laughs> it's that I can't get you. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, that's funny because like she like came home. It was like Christmas time. She's like, yep. I got you a Christmas card. I was like, what? She's like, yeah, I went to the geek store and I bought you all this stuff. And I was like, that's Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, you heard the disappointment in his no, voice. No, 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 no. That's Johnny. I was like, that's, was my like, friend, that's, that's my friend Johnny. <laughs> she was like, oh, really? She was like, yeah. I was like, yeah. Well, did you not use my name? She was like, I didn't think about it. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> use my name, please. Huh. You'd be surprised. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. The city ain't that big. Um, so, I guess uh, my next question is, what's the biggest show you've been to? The biggest show I, I ever been to was, uh, it's three days long. Um... It's MetroCon. It's in Florida, Tampa, Florida. Something I've actually we, I drove it's down there the first time. That, 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 that was a horrible experience. Driving twenty plus hours, is horrible. It's eighteen. <laughs> it's eighteen with no brakes. Um. Yeah, I know. But he <laughs> had to, and and the and it was a smaller car. We had stuff in the back. I was squashed. This is bad. Yeah, it was yeah. a good experience down there, though. Uh, the second time when I died, I flew down there, and we got a hotel that was connected to the convention. Same time, and had a pool. You just go down there, and there's a rave at the end of the convention. It's it's it was great. The right. best one I've been into outside of our local ones here. Would you cosplay us? If you cosplay um, them. I brought Mario. Uh, my Monster Hunter and Hunk from Voltron. Who's your favorite famous cosplayer? My favorite, famous, favorite. famous. That's tough, man. Like who? Who? Who got you in? Like who stuff do you see yourself looking at most, or like admiring the most as far as famous people? Um, <coughs> anyone. I like no local, locally or anything like that. Just like anyone. Just uh, whoever. Mercy. Where is she? With Jessica? Jessica. Yeah, Jessica's up there. Of course she's up there. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess that leads to my next question. What's your opinion on sexy cosplay? What's what? What's your opinion on sexy cosplay? Sexy cosplay. Are you for it? You're against it? You don't care? You're indifferent? It's whatever? It's a thing? Um, I guess as long as it stays in the parameters of the cons or legal laws, you yeah, know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't mind someone if someone's wearing, like, a cosplay as, like, a bikini because that's what that person right. is cosplaying. Because, I mean, that's normal, too. You go to beach, you see people in, in bikinis and stuff like that. Right. Um, I guess just don't be too sensitive and be like, oh, well, my kid's here, and that person's in a bikini. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah. that's in public pools and everything, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. like... <laughs> don't go finger-pointing, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Um... What's your opinion on cross-playing? Oh, uh, 
Oh, I don't mind. I, I'd do it. I'd do something cool. Like, I would do... What was, what was that? Wow, well, then there was something that I wanted to try, and then I forgot about it. Oh, I'd do it like a, a male May from Overwatch. That'd be pretty I dope. I seen one. Did you? Amazing. This kid had a whole tank on his back. That'd be pretty cool. Awesome, man. Awesome. Um, what's your dream con? My dream con? Yeah. Ooh. Even more specific, asking like, 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 what's gonna be there? Who's gonna be there? Or like, like, what? what's the convention you'd like to go to? You haven't been to yet. Ooh. And where what would you cosplay at? I'd like to go uh, like to the actual New York Comic Con, which is probably like the hardest thing. You gotta buy your tickets like three years in advance. Yeah, you gotta go on list. I can go to New York Comic Con whenever I want. I just never go. It's you, crazy because it's the weekend of retro this year. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> I'd like to do that right there. That probably that'd be super expensive. That's something you save up a lot for. I'd like to go as that, and I'd I'd like to, I'd like to bring out a, uh, a different kind of Mario. Like I usually go like an original Mario. I'm, I I kind of want to do the, uh, oh, what's the raccoon Mario? What's his name? What's the, it starts with a T there. You get it, know what I'm talking about. He's got the raccoon ears. I like to do that, or like a Super Mario. Have my cape, or maybe even go like as a flower power Mario. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be cool. I'd love to see you in the movie Mario jumpsuit. It's so terrible, but that'd be funny. I mean, it's just it's it's just a, a overalls, and he had like a red a regular red hat on. Yeah, it's, a letter, it's literally a letter. <laughs> I'd jacket. have to shave for it. And be literally like a Letterman jacket. <laughs> literally. Um. That's the. Uh, how's cosplay changed your life, if at all? Uh, it's opened up. A lot of different friendships out there and that's how i met you that's how i met a lot of different people you go out there and you're in a group of people that uh love the same thing as you do it's right. it's a different environment and you get to meet all kinds of people instead of you know just going out and going to work or going shopping and stuff like that it's it's i'm happy for it i'm happy that you know i got to meet you and countless other people and it's it's great right me and christina during our interview we talked to a lot about uh, her favorite fandoms, and we talked about Superman a lot. Mm -hmm. What's your fandom? Ooh, my favorite fandom. Yeah. Gosh, that's a rough question. What's that? What? what, what well, you're definitely a Marvel guy. You have both the gauntlets, don't absolutely. you? Absolutely. No, not both of them. Okay. I only got, I only got the Iron Man one. Like I, I absolutely love Marvel. DC's okay, but I only ever got into like Batman, right. which because I grew up on the animated series. Right. Um, like Marvel's a big thing, and definitely like Full Metal Alchemist. I love that whole world, and my cat's name is Alphonse. You know. What's love. your oh, speaking of which? I'm Cameron, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, there it is. Um, what drove you to Full Metal? Because Full Metal is a whole different ball game. It's a very mature anime. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't look like it at first. You like too. I mean, like a lot of them start off with like young kids and and, yeah. and going on doing adventures. But this this the story itself. And, um, you know, I threw it on there and it kind of had like a personal touch to it because I lost my mother at a young age. And uh, so I was watching it and, you know, they're growing up with their mom and their mom passed away and they don't really have anybody. It was something that I related to. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to go. I'm not going to ask the obvious question. What? What's the obvious question? <laughs> you didn't build a transmutation circle in your garage, did you? No. <laughs> but I do have a carpet that has that careful <laughs> <laughs> one drop of blood you don't know what's gonna happen i know i know oh, man, um, but yeah it's just like it started from there and then just within those first few episodes especially with uh that nina episode which i'm sure whoever knows oh, what i'm talking about like full on like i was like <laughs> what is going on oh my god and um and i started with the original full metal alchemist and, and, and not brotherhood and bro yeah. then brotherhood came out and that was even more amazing and it just I don't know, the story of that is just amazing. What's your opinion? What's better, Brotherhood or the original? I mean, well, not better, but what's more entertaining in your opinion? Um, Brotherhood uh, is a manga. Yeah, like Brotherhood was more in depth and it was longer and it it had some of the similar things when it first started out. Um, the original is still good. It just kind of went into its own direction. Um, and change things, which I didn't know. I never read the manga, so I wouldn't. Oh, know really? When, yeah, I never, I never read the manga, so I didn't know what was supposed to happen, what was not. Right. You know. So when I watched Brotherhood, and I was like, that didn't happen. Yeah. But everything came together a lot more, and it was a lot uh, in depth in the story and characters. Right. Um. What's the craziest cosplay you've seen? 
the craziest cosplay. It's a few. Like, one of our locals when we went there, I think the dude was dressed as, like, Megatron or something like that. Like he was a full robot type deal. That oh, he you mean like, Iron Hide and them? Yeah, yeah, they're great. He uh, said it took him a long time to build. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and just things like that are that in depth, especially because like he said, he built it. And I don't know how you built things like that. I don't even know where to start. Where it's like plastic Stilts. and metal and Stilts. everything like that. That was one of the craziest ones, and just things that are like full-on accessories and that's that's kind of the thing that c- people like look over but make the cosplay awesome is just those little accessories maybe a little paint right here yeah. or that earring that they have right here a little necklace right um but i think that giant like megatron was like the, the craziest one <laughs> right um let's see you said that your dream cosplay was Bowser, like a full-on Bowser. That'd be cool. I'd like to do. I would Has like to changed? do Bowser. Uh, no, I mean, like Bowser is like when I play Mario Kart. Bowser, right here. He's Bowser. With Bowser. the yeah, with like my name, John the Dragon, like Dragon Bowser, and uh, I think I could do it like really well. I once saw uh, one of the local ones, and they were dressed up a few of them, and she was a female Bowser. She had like the teeth and, the, and like a thing and the claws. Um, I don't know where I'd start, and I don't know how exactly I'd want it. Maybe, like, I don't know, like, a full-on red wig and crazy spikes, and I don't yeah. know. But that would be cool, a Bowser coming in. Um, when Charles Martinet was here for Retro Game Con, they asked him about Boozette and Bowsette. uh uh-huh. And whoever was, like, running the panel kind of made him brush it off. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, What's your opinion? Do you think uh, it's pandering, or do you think it's, like... Uh, Rule 32 and all that nonsense. What do you think? Like, what do I think of them? Yeah, what do you think of the characters? I love it. <laughs> well, Buat's my favorite. I'm on top of it. I can just... The, the pale and the white hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get me started. But, Buat. I love it. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, God, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. My favorite thing is, like, when I go in as Mario and I see a Buat, I'll look at her and I'll go like this. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Uh, favorite cosplay memory that you can think of? Off favorite the, off cosplay the memory. There's a few of them, man. There's um, obviously when you and I met. Like I'll I'll never forget that. <laughs> I don't even have to watch the video, and it just happened. Cause like I said, that was like one of the first big ones I went to. The cosplay, yeah. meeting you. Right. Um, another one would be when I met uh, Desi, and I dressed up in in my Resident Evil outfit, and I saw her in her Claire outfit Desi. and Brie. Uh. <laughs> and what else? <laughs> um, I said that when I put the mask on, my life changed. Mm-hmm. Is, is that is that same for you? As far as like, when you put the hat on, or you put the armor on, or you know, put the gun in your hand. Like, uh, what changes? There, I, I guess that kind of depends from person to person. Because some people will put an outfit on and still keep their, you know, regular persona. Like, who they are. Going, I'm dressed up and look at me. Like, yeah. hey, you like my outfit? And then there's those people who dress up and become that person. Right. You know? I kind of switch in between and, like, I'll come in because I know Mario doesn't really have a personality outside of, whoo, ha, ha, yeah, ha. Being fake Italian. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it, it, I don't know, it gives you a sense of, like, being part of something bigger you know right. like i said when in normal days going to work going shopping things like that dressing up and being in that environment and you're like yes yeah i think um with me um the, just the uh, continue with the question is when i put the mask on mm-hmm. either i was around the certain the right group of people because we were going to events and stuff right have you ever like other than the think geek thing have you ever been to an event where it's like you guys as a guest of honor you gotta like you know cosplay for people um, because we've done hockey games and you know all kinds of crazy. Yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. There were a few conventions that I went with uh, uh, the Saber Group, mm-hmm. um, and th- that was only a few in between. There was a lot of times like I wanted to go, yeah, and you know, I just didn't have the trans transportation to, to do those things. Um, but those those are pretty nice. It's yeah. like, hey, you guys want to come in and you know you you be part of the panel and you you do stuff, mm-hmm. show up and just like, hey. Look how cool we are. You yeah. wanna join? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> That's awesome. Um Okay, let's see. Um <laughs> what's your favorite thing about Webcam Nick? You. <laughs> uh, duh. 
Nice. <laughs> Without giving an answer. <laughs> I dig that, man. I dig that. Um, I, mean, I mean, the favorite thing is just everything that you really do, man. Like, it's the same right. thing. You, you pull in the people that you've met and that you've become friends with. And right. you try to share their point of view to the world of other people that might want to start cosplaying or um, want to try building things. Right. And you open that up and then show it to them because we all know you got that fan base. <laughs> I try. I try. Um... If you could talk to John uh, at the beginning of the cosplay thing, like when he goes, okay, I want to cosplay, and you had a TARDIS, and you were like, wait! <laughs> Before you put on that Mario hat, here's a tip. If I can go back and tell him, oh, man, probably to not be so nervous. Which is hard, because even though it's been so many years, I still get nervous going well, If you're not nervous, stuff. something's wrong. I know. It's the same thing. Um, uh, probably... Also to do different techniques, because as when you first start your... Because my first cosplay was the, the Cajun... Or the Cajun. Cajun or Cajun? Cajun. Yeah, Cajun, yeah. not Cajun. Yeah. As a spice. That's... <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, how to pin things and how things should look. And, like, you just kind of throw things on and they're like, okay, that looks okay. I would tell you not to shove that Master Sword in the back of your overalls. Dumbass. I had nowhere to put it. Get a sheath. <laughs> Where am I gonna get a sheet? I don't know. <laughs> that shit was hilarious, though. He pulled that out of his ass. I was like, "That's uh, yeah. gotta hurt." I had to do it. Oh it, it, it's supposed to be. I collected their weapons, and yeah. then I forgot to pick up his sheet. So give me this <laughs> sheet. Oh my god, that's fantastic, Johnny man. Is there anything else you want to say to everybody before we end this bad boy? Uh okay. well, not long we've been talking. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, thank you for having me. Thank you for watching. Yeah. I appreciate everything you do. All right. You're a great filmmaker, YouTuber, interviewer, and everyone out there who wants to cosplay, give it a try. We it's must have friends who love you. I love you guys this much. I, can, I go further, but there's a thing right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Johnny G! John the Dragon. John the Dragon. Johnny, I love you, buddy. I love you. Thank you for watching the Cosplay Couch, man. Absolutely. Um, who do you want on the show next? Who do I want on the show next? Who else next? Because Tyler's like just bugging me. Keeps calling me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, who's a good, who's a good hustler with you in there? I don't know, man. You've done like. You've done it, was it was just Christina. It was just Christina. And you done. That was it. It's you and Christina. I know. I know who's the next one should be. Who's that? I'm going to flip the camera on or around. I'm going to put you on. Yeah. I'm the guy. Yeah, the interviewer becomes the interviewee. All right. That's a good one. We'll switch it around. I'll do the interview. God, we're not doing this right now. We need notes. We got to have to rewrite everything. We'll be here all night. Huh? We'll do it now next week. Oh, God. Next time on Dragon, I mean, uh, webcam. Hey, Beach, I still on my show. Johnny, man. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Love you, mate. Just tell them be nice to each other. Be nice to each other. Woo. It's on camera. Sweet, we're out.